hello comrade this is pathik with you and uh, our today's session is of level 2 easy pos verb restaurant management software operations okay yesterday we have finished level 1 now today will be for level 2 okay so i believe you can view my screen is it okay great so as you know how the power icons uh, is look alike you can see double click on it right so yesterday we have seen how to take orders and today our uh, training agenda will be uh, some other features you can see in front office of burp okay you know how to log in and all this okay so this is how screen will look like of uh, easy burp okay this is the order path and this is transaction that we have seen uh, we have seen the some mini reports from here then how to perform day close uh today we will see some extra features of easy verb that uh, some settings that how will you reset the password how will you set printer settings right so i will start with the user settings suppose uh, if you want to reset your password or if any user would like to reset the password then you have to click on settings okay then go for user settings If you click on reset settings it will ask you for old password then you can select new password and confirm password and then click on finish you can see there is uh, other settings like default english custom 1 custom 2 uh, we have that feature that if you want to use our so use our software with your own language so you can use it uh, you just have to license with language pack so uh, other other language will be installed in custom 1 or custom 2 so suppose if you want to use our software in hindi or some other language so you just select custom 1 okay then finish once you enter the details then finish then log in again with your new password okay now second thing is that uh, whenever you are taking order it will print right so for print we will have to do some configuration right so if you want to configure your printer with easy verb you just uh, go to again settings click on settings from here i am showing you one more time this is easy verb window in easy verb window there is a icon of settings you can easily uh, able to view okay now click on settings then you just go for peripherals okay in peripherals right uh, you you will just a moment okay so back uh, okay go for settings peripherals uh If you click on peripherals, uh, uh, like you want to configure KOT printer and receipt printer, right? KOT printer will print your order, and receipt printer will uh, print your uh, your bill or receipt, whatever you say. So if you click on KOT printer, right? You have to select two kind. There is a two kind of uh, two type of printer. Uh, our print it is available. like you have bar and food items having a different departments then what you can do is you can uh, select uh, you can configure your print like uh, bar orders will be print from bar printer and your food order will be print from your kitchen printer like this so if you want to uh, do configuration like that then you have to select active separate kot print okay or if there is only one printer you would like to perform then you just uh, active checker kot print you have to select your template from here whether it is line printer or windows template okay then whatever printer you have installed in your system you it will be easily show in your drop down 
right now there is no printers installed in my system so it will showing me some uh, virtual printer over there right so i have selected this printer or i can select this printer and this is my print okay and you can uh, save and close okay then you can manage how to how would you like to print your kot like print kitchen order okay if in takeaway this is the order type in which order type you would like to print your kot so i guess you are having only takeaway right so you can just check mark on print kitchen order ticket ticket on takeaway if there is any delivery order type is delivery then you have to check mark this and if there is room service then you have to check mark this okay then save and close so this is the configuration of kot printer setting okay now second is how to configure receipt printer okay if you want to set receipt printer you have to select on receipt printer okay then you have to activate this option active receipt printer okay select your template like if you can see the format of your receipt okay line printer or windows template okay then whatever template you have configured here we'll click on default then there is another thing is guest check template guest check template means before you settle you will you can before settlement of your receipt or your order you can print a receipt okay and show to guest so guest will check all the orders that you that you have punch or he he or she has ordered and verify it once she or he or she has verified the order you can settle it okay so it's up to you if you would like to guest check uh, if you would like to setting like guest check template or not okay then again you can select from here okay you can select two printer as well from here like if you want if you require two prints uh, like one print from your reception and another print is a print from any other department so you can select two printers over here there is also option available okay then some uh, some other option in print is like if you if you want to see a preview of your receipt before print then you can enable this check mark okay and if you want like to if you click on finish button and you would like to print the receipt then you you can select this option okay uh, print kot on finish button so you can option this okay uh, if there is some bill receipt receipt or bill you you want to split right so you can just select this option print on split okay uh, so uh, if if in any case you would like to void or remove the receipt right and that that also you would like to print then also the option is available like print on void receipt so you can check mark this option okay and uh, there we we do have option print guest check when receipt is unsettled so dining takeaway and room service if you want if you want to print receipt on full settle then you can select dining takeaway any order type you are having only takeaway so if you click on full settle okay then the automatically receipt will be print you do not have to select print option that's it okay so you know how to take kot and receipt printer settings right i have shown to you there is some other settings also okay like client server settings okay if you if you want to reduce the size of your bus screen so you can just uh, select the resolution as per your convenience right okay if you would like to exempt some tax in some particular order like uh, and take uh, you do not want to take uh, any service charge then what you will do is just click on just uh, click uh, check mark the service charge from takeaway save and close so in takeaway option the service charge will not be applied okay uh, okay uh, there is uh, one more option like uh, advance order do you do you manage advance order okay like uh, if uh, some guest would like to call you and they say that in particular time they will visit to your restaurant and they want their food finished on some 
the that particular time then what you will need to do is just click on advanced order okay uh, you can if you are not delivering then you can just select the delivery date and time okay three or five finish and you wait a name name of the guest okay address if they are saying that so okay then continue okay an adult one or two any any remark if there is any citizen ID like GST ID or something, business source, whether they are coming with Zomato or, or any other business source that you want to give some commission for this, then you just and that you have to select from like this, right? And click on finish. Once you finish, it will redirect to order window. Okay now click on settlement if you want to click on settlement you can settle as well else you just click on finish where is it once voucher number Advanced search number. Okay. Okay, here we have to create that voucher number as well. Okay, this is how you can go for advanced order. If you want to see advanced list, see this is the, our order that we have just created in advance okay then uh, next is transaction lock and table locks that means uh, that you are multiple uh, there i think you are having more than one system right so one will be server and another will be your client so two person will be logged into different kind of system so if there is an order is viewing by you and the same order is uh, if some other user will going to uh, some other is going to some other user is going to access that uh, particular order then that order will be locked that uh, another user and with you with you also you are not able to uh, access that particular order i'm repeating once again suppose there is one order that you are accessing right you are working on it that you are taking the order or you are you are about to uh, do settlement of that particular order the same order in some different system other user is going to access so so we have that feature that if uh, the uh, to avoid some mis mismatch of the settlement uh, if someone tries to access same order then that order will be automatically locked that nobody will able nobody will able to access the same order if suppose this option so it will show you one error to you that that the table is locked or something so if in this case what will you do this transaction lock option is available here 
you just click on transaction log if you click on transaction log this window will be open and the whatever kot is locked it will show you here you just have to check mark and click on finish then the kot will be released and after that you will proceed with that same order so this is the option of transaction log okay then the next option is freeze unfreeze item what is freeze and unfreeze item it's like for some moment or some days you would like to freeze some particular item that you do not want to you do not want to sell like as uh, pollen this option this app uh, this pollen to 40 gram you want to freeze it you just select this okay click and freeze so this item will not available for you for a particular day until you unfreeze it which one which one you would like to repeat okay sure <coughs> freeze means uh, let me take another item for you mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. You just go to settings over here. Settings and settings, freeze and freeze item. Do you see? You click on freeze and freeze. Okay. So whatever items is configured in your system, it will show you here. And whatever item you want to freeze it, you just uh, like uh, any like fruit salad fruit salad you would like to freeze so you can freeze it not available the reason is also okay now we let's check for fruit salad if whether it's available for you or not so you can just go fruit okay see you can search it from here you do not have to scroll down for the uh, for any item you just have to write down whatever okay the fruit salad okay see select item has been freeze by chef reason not available you got that right so you you it's possible that you do not want to see it you do not want to sell it in some day or something okay now again you want to unfreeze it go for a freeze and freeze item okay where is your fruit salad you can search it from your items item name fruit search okay where is your fruit salad this is this is it will show you the where whatever item is freeze the it will be check mark automatically okay then unfreeze it so now the check mark will be removed if you click on unfreeze okay now let's see it's available for us or not go for dining go for takeaway okay let's go for fruit fruit salad it's available for now right so this is how you can perform freeze and unfreeze okay uh, then suppose now i'm taking one order for you hey okay. this modification like this is i've already sh already shown you yesterday to how to modify the order let me show you one more time finish okay this is then known for fruit salad okay finish now you want to modify your order what you will do is just go for the receipt recall it okay and some beverages they want now cappuccino hot okay now print and finish again so right see you can modify it cappuccino hot here you can modify the order okay then <clears throat> if you want to give discount okay this uh, this receipt yet not settled so yes you can give discount them recall it okay 
here is the option of discount day available here click on discount okay so there are four types of discount available discount on receipt cash discount on receipt discount on item and cash discount on item okay discount on item and discount on receipt that you will have to create it okay discount on receipt and discount on item you will have to configure it but cash discount on receipt and cash discount on item we have already configured in in our system this is this do not have to configure by you do not have to configure you can easily uh, select by yourself okay suppose i want to give cash discount on item like 10% right and if i apply so see you you just uh, read this option cash discount on item that means 10% discount will apply on each and every item not on receipt it will apply on single item like ostrich stick it will apply 10% discount fruit salad it will apply 10% discount cappuccino hot it will apply 10% discount let's see how it works apply okay so if you see here okay only cappuccino hot is applied for discount uh, let's see why fruit salad is not apply why for cash discount let me see it is possible that the discount is not available for this particular item right so that is the reason it's not apply uh, let me remove it once again let's go for discount on item okay mm, just a moment let me take one order for you okay here is coming two items affected okay let's see the see here is 10 percent amount on 50 glass you can see here discount of 10 percent is available right same you can go for go for cappuccino or here also 10 percent discount has applied okay this is for cash on discount okay now let's see uh, cash discount on receipt if you select on cash discount on receipt give 10 percent discount apply so receipt level discount has applied see it is not based on a particular item it is uh, on total amount so this is how cash discount receipt work okay same option available for discount on item and discount on receipt these four options are different kind of four option is why because discount and receipt is that you have if you want to manually manage your discount so you will have to create discount on back office from back office that you have to uh, if you want training on that you have to apply that okay uh, okay now there is one option is for you how to split the bill 
you want to know how to split the bill the suppose the guest has come in your hotel and asking that uh, we are the two persons we will separate we will pay our bill separately so what you will do is this is our bill let okay now this is your receipt now this option is available here let me repeat what what options are there here like settle settle option right if you click on settle if you redirect to the settlement option i have shown you how to settle the bill right then the recall option if you click on recall it will open the order whatever order has been uh, given to you right then next is void if you want to remove this receipt then you can delete receipt from your system that if there is any misorder or something right then the third option fourth option is split if you click on split there is option uh, are there split by amount by quantity by quality category or seat number right how, how number of slips do you want three four five six whatever slips you want right we go for two now okay if you want to go split by amount you just click on amount and it will split by amount right or you can manually split like i want two thousand okay so remaining amount will be split it like this okay then click on okay so see 2000 2000 uh, two receipts has been made so one is for 2000 and another is 1962 okay yeah. okay and whatever and the thing is you you are not able to uh, split where to split the receipt which is already split it okay so this is how split function work and another option is uh, so this is how we can take orders we uh, this is how we can uh, settlement the receipts how to generate kot and how, how to view kot or receipt once it's settled down okay now the, there is uh, one important option is rather than your food bills and everything rather than your restaurant there are two options like payout and miss sales uh, let me explain you what is payout payout is like uh, some guest is coming to your hotel or restaurant or th the guest is coming from some uh, agent or something you know the, so you will have to pay some commission or something or or you you would like to pay your electricity bills like whatever expenses you are managing from your cash drawer your restaurant cash drawer that record you can maintain in your system as well you know so if you so i will show you how how you can manage that such records whatever expenses you have made by your uh, cash drawer so you just click on here you can see the others just click here okay there is one option is this payouts you see this payouts if you want to add some payout like click on add okay voucher number any okay paid to whom you are paying the person name is your outlet from which outlet you are paying select your extra service whatever extra service you you will have to uh, configure extra service from back office okay like payouts from for fresh flowers you are you have buy some fresh flower for your restaurant that is smell good so guest will attract and have food in there so click on flowers and whatever amount you expand from your system okay if there is any discount or something right amount total and click on add okay and now click on finish once you click on finish it will ask you for to settle the amount okay now click on finish okay entry save successfully so this uh, this amount will be uh, this uh, this amount will be deduct from your cash drawer okay 100 will be minus okay so this is payout okay and another thing is this is payout now another thing is misc sales misc sales means miscellaneous sales like uh, you are selling other than your restaurant like some newspaper some magazine 
or some games uh, or some toys for children uh, or some newspaper flowers especially right some other items whatever items you if you want to buy, sell then that that all selling also you can uh, you can track a record here keep a record of that okay this is earning this this is your earning miss sales means so like your uh, some swimming swimming outlets for adults right if you or you are uh, giving as a rent on rent okay 1000 tax and enter remark swimming costumes click on finish and click on add finish okay and then finish again so this is your earning it will add in your cash drawer 1000 bucks in your cash drawer and the payout was it will deduct from your cash drawer and miscellaneous sales means it will earn this is your extra earnings okay and then uh, okay so do you have any doubt in payouts or uh, miscellaneous sales Yeah, tell me you can ask me i know i have uh, lots of clients having some doubts and payouts in uh, miscellaneous sales you can ask me okay then okay it's clear to us okay great okay so if there is any question you just note it down i will go forward okay then the 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 other option is payment type you you are you know like what is payment type right we have such types of payment type like city ledger you know city ledger very well what do you mean by both posts are you asking me to in older version yeah, yeah you can uh, if you have uh, if you have already buy the license of in your both system you can open okay 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 then. now uh, the next option is payment option you are very well aware about payment option right how many payments types are there that is one is city ledger right if you have managed some credit accounts then it is a city ledger account like if you go for takeaway okay Just, uh, uh, finish let's go for settlement and then select city ledger it is your credit account that uh, suppose uh, it's like uh, there is some industries employee has a give a contract to have provide foods to their employees so what will you do that you will and they will pay you after end of the month so what will you do you will create one particular account right for them like uh, i have some like glaxo smith line okay so whenever they come to your hotel okay and have food you will uh, you will not charge them that time you will just print that bill uh, you will make that receipt and post to particular city ledger account okay this is your city ledger account and you just click and this so, so what will happen this 3000 amount will be post to particular account this glass of smith line and click on add okay do you want to print receipt yes okay now you will see here see so this account has automatically posted to GlaxoSmithKline okay okay the receipt is settled automatically no, but it's that it will show you here it's settled right but in amount like in account it will show you it is the payment posting has been done but the payment has not come to you so if you want to see how will you see it 
just go to this is back office let me show you how it works the first time i think you are viewing pos back office this is you can see this is easy pos back office right click on it run as administrator this is the uh, software or function where you will configure everything for that you have to for configuration if you want to learn configuration uh, you will have to book a slot for it for training okay if you click on same option okay select your outlet okay now go for configuration okay payment and accounts in accounts we have GlaxoSmithKline right right click on it go for payment posting okay we have just this, this we have just post the payment of this right 3000 of GlaxoSmithKline you just select the payment and click on pay if you well, once you receive the payment from cash check visa whatever okay this is a sign and then save right so now it the 3000 amount has been settled let's see again whether it is this okay you can print invoice from here as well okay this is how invoice will be generated once uh, your your payment has been done and this this is not uh, allowed to modify anything this will by standard format hour okay okay now let's back to bob uh, now if you want to refund something uh, like uh, let me let me take a settlement of this receipt amount paint is 1962 right uh, just a moment please
Hi, hello, sorry for delay. Okay, now uh, you you know, yeah. So you know how to settlement and what are what kind of payment option you can you are available in the system. Now uh, there is one some configuration part that uh, how to change item price and everything, right? Suppose you want to change particular item price, you can change also. But for that you will have to see that uh, whatever item is available for uh, change or not to change the item price that how will you check you just click on menu items any menu items click on edit so this is my this is my menu items block okay and you can see this is my item menu item list okay this is my item now i select this item and click on edit okay if you click on so this is available for us see if you some such options should be check mark like if you want to change the item name yes if you want to change the item price then it should be check mark ask for change price ask for change name uh, if you want to give any discount for particular item then you have to select this option okay if you want to change the quantity for this particular item th this show this all of op options should be uh, should be check mark then only that item will be available for such such options right so our op uh, our item is all day full english breakfast okay uh, if you change anything in back office you will it will require a birth to a restart so we will restart from here close okay okay no just go there login okay 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 let's go for takeaway okay now our item is all in this one okay okay if you want to change the item description or item name you can change it see it will show you this item name here but it will not affect in your database so it will remain same but it, it is showing you test okay if you want to change the particular item price you can change the item price as well finish if you want to change the quantity you can change or not then click on finish again okay so, so you are serving test at the price of this 1100 because it is including taxes that's why it's 1100 okay so you can change your item price also okay then uh, settlement type if you if you would like to uh, enter other settlement type see how much set, uh, where we can uh, see this is payment and accounts okay open the back office in configuration payment accounts the, from here you can configure your settlement type we have already configured some settlement like, settlement type like cash check visa mastercard discover american express atm card you can add uh, like paytm right okay phone pay or something which is uh, already uh, is working here in system so you you can also add some paytm and also paytm and then click on save so settlement type will be available then once you change anything you will have to restart this all verb okay once you restart the verb it will available in your system as well okay now the next is exchange rate so like uh, see uh, in india we are using rupiah right the rupiah is our currency indian currency but if someone come from outside like uh, us or something so maybe they do not have uh, our currency so they will pay us in dollar right so uh, in india our base currency will be indian rupee right uh, here i ha i have already uh, made a base currency base currency will never be changed once you have applied okay so and the other currency is here is india 
in, in my system but in your system will be your base currency is uh, india and other currency if you if you want to take payment of other currency you can pay you can take the payment in other currency as well right so you you can uh, even you you can add other currency also and mention the change rate also uh, the click on new okay you can select particular country like united states we i know we have already configured united states but uh, the uh, currency ne already changed right And whatever color like is seventy two, I guess. Okay, this is our base currency. That's why I'm not able to so see it now. If I can edit it, okay. Okay, see the exchange rate has changed by this. You can create new from here as well. It is also possible. Okay. uh if you want to take payment from other currency i think it the option is available here mm, let's go for settlement see select currency you can select your currency in which currency you would like to take a payment let's go for rupees so so it's uh, whatever 1962 amount is showing here it is in dollar but it's converted in 141264 and you just click and add Okay. See, you can have like this. Now, if you zoom it, okay, like this, it will show you in dollars only. Okay, and rupees also is showing you here. Here you can see one four one two six four. So ninety six nineteen six one nine six two in dollar, and one four one two six four in rupees. okay then there is one more option is uh, no charge account or no charge group no charge account in the sense uh, again it is same like city ledger account okay that uh, you are not uh, generating any receipt but uh, like uh, you will have to create no charge account click on edit okay and they will pay you in before like uh, they are credit you some money the 5000 rupees of this person nana group has already paid you for uh, for one month okay for some particular duration so you will credit in 5000 rupees okay so this is your no charge account if you click here again okay let's go for no charge this is no charge select the nana group okay and you can so uh, you can order some food for them for no charge so this is only for no charge i think you are not using it right is this some kind of you are using it for some industry or something okay okay then one more thing is there uh extra charge masters uh so whenever you void some receipts right or some kots it is uh, the system always ask you for a reason uh, we yes come on you tell me just tell me
yeah in that case yes you can in that case you can use no charge yes exactly you are right yes yes for that you have to uh, you will have to create one account like already created and whatever receipt will be generated it will not showing the charge it will show you zero zero <clears throat> okay and the next is uh, i i was yeah so yeah it will show you on no charge report we do have that true no charge report it will not include in sales okay okay can i continue okay so next is that i was talk i was talking about void reasons void reasons when whenever you are voiding anything like receipts or any kot or any other task you you care you are voiding voiding means removing or deleting from a system so whenever whenever you tries to void something the system will ask the system will ask you for particular reason okay so that reason you can configure from this window you just uh, open the back office okay this is back office go for configuration in configuration masters in master you can see void reasons okay so these are particular reasons we have already created okay if you still wants to configure something you can configure from here like uh, i have already uh, created like uh, not available see to block item you just click on edit block item not available okay you have to select the category for which category you want for payment then you have to create like a uh, wrong i wrong item ordered edit it the outlet transaction so uh, outlet transaction means when, when you are uh generating kot and you want to void that kot okay so once you click on void it will show you this reason void reason wrong item order let me show you how it shows okay let's go for some kot do we have any kot today let me take no sorry in take away you will never able to see kot in the system yes kot will be generated kot can be print but it will not save in your system okay so i will show you for in dine in okay now the kot has been made go for kot this kot you want to you will uh, see yeah you can modify no i am sorry it is not possible to customize it uh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, the software is standard version and we do not allow to customize but in take away you can modify your orders you can remove your you can modify your receipts chal bhai take away ma ye kot ka save nahi tha barabar kot save nahi tha apna system mein pan eu ke che ke hu order lo ane mare kot modify karvi hoy मॉडिफाय नहीं थे हाँ रिसीव में रिकॉल रिकॉल करे तो प्रिंट सुधर से रिसीव प्रिंट था से क्या क्यों होती रिकॉल करने मॉडिफ इसी पर से कन क्यों होती प्रिंट तो था से एक बार बार okay so it is not possible to customize right 
so if you want to modify the order you will have to recall the receipts and you can add or remove particular items okay this is how you can modify it okay so i was asking to how to avoid the kot you just click on void okay so it will ask you that what is the reason behind that to modify the kot you select the reason and finish it so kot will be modified okay now this goes so you know how to avoid the reasons then if you want to uh, make some preparation remark extra spicy hot medium medium done okay so preparation remark means when when waiter is taking the order or you are taking the order in order window it will show you the pre it is asking you for preparation remark you remember i have shown you yesterday so if you click on take away right finish preparation remark i think it is in da dining not for finish mm. just a moment hello preparation remark puche the na preparation remark okay uh, so if you select any particular order it will ask you for if you want to mention any preparation remark these are this these are remarks we have already added you can hot medium medium done mild rare okay any any remark you can add in this like hot right and finish so it will finish it and if you click on finish i'll show you again see i'm closing this go for take away okay in take away it will show you order window go for uh, go for beverages like cappuccino cold okay this is the option see you can see this icon you can see preparation remark but before you have to select this option then click on preparation remark and then select finish finish that's it okay so there are small kind of option that you have to take and care of, right uh, then uh, there is one thing that printer mapping i have i have shown you that how to configure printer for your burp system but suppose you want to use separate kot like you want to print bar bar items in your bar and uh, beverage items in your bar and your food items special this is sure a kot should be print in your kitchen like kitchen and bar are different places like so what you will do is like go for tools in tools in appearance there is a printer mapping see i have already created two printers like bar kot and then kitchen kot 
so you have to create such printer like new okay then you have to map kitchen to i'm okay which printer you want to add so uh, you have to map the printer that is installed in your system okay then line printer template okay and click on add and then save then close so kitchen 2 printer is created here but this printer you will have to uh, assign that particular item that you would like to print in your department like kitchen printer you want to print in kitchen so you will have to go here your item configuration in your items okay you have to select your group like food food is your main course right your main course and you search so all items okay so all items included in your main course main course okay you have to select all the items go for printer from here printers go for printer select and kitchen to and apply selected this okay so see in printer you can see kitchen to over here okay so so whatever selected items uh, we have assigned printer that will print in your kitchen okay not anywhere else so this is printer mapping yes you can same keyword yes you you can print uh, that for for that you have to same same keyword. yes you can print yes it is possible let me see uh, how it works kot see this is the printer name see and we have given the options the various printers you want to install suppose i have one printer name i have and then another printer name this okay so the same keyword will be print this printer and this printer also and you just click on save it's a very simple option okay but it will print same keyword okay if you it's up to you uh, uh, first of all where do you want to punch the order both systems or only server you will have to assign that printer in which system you are working okay both systems hmm. okay so for that you will uh, have to uh assign printer on server server only yes on server okay you will have to configure on server system only Okay, then what is next for you? there is one option is reminder okay you 
if you want to set some reminder to your other user okay you just have to mention the date and time okay if there is priority high then you just click on high okay then you just message test okay whenever when do you would like to uh, buzz it it will it will show you pop up over there or particular user okay then go for back office like any user you want to give some reminder so just back office and save okay so that particular time it will be pop up generated and that particular user will know that i want to do such task as per your reminders okay this is also some options available then net locks okay suppose your uh, anything is like it is like transaction log that i have already explained you okay then the one main option over here the menu configuration and item configuration see okay so if you go for masters if you go for delivery zone but you are not using delivery right then discount type that i have shown you how to create discount okay so food discount sandwich discount and any other discount discount type you have to mention here okay and discount percent if you want to give one discount percentage then you go for like you want to give so 30 percent discount or 30 percent discount give a name of maximum discount okay apply on where on received item menu subgroup on receipt then you select on receipt okay and save so new uh, discount type has been created if i if i restart bug okay let me turn on it will show you this discount type okay now let's see if there is any unsettled receipts is available over here ah uh, yes this one is available for us okay you recall it and let's go for discount so discount on receipt see see we have just created the maximum discount of 30 percent which we have created it is showing here okay so how to create discount type that i have shown you okay next is waiter Suppose you want to create a waiter right, in the system, so you can create from here, right? Or waiter, driver, suppose your waiter is same driver and everything, you just click on edit, okay? Waiter for what date, whatever details you would like to uh, in, insert in the system, you can insert it. Address, city, state, okay? Uh, <coughs> birth date any identity they have okay entry number server type what kind of waiter they are waiter they are waiters or drivers or they are both waiter and driver both okay apply commission when bill uh, if you want to give some uh, privilege them that they can give commission on bill amount so you can uh, mention the amount or you can mention the percentage here right if, if there is an uh, amount then you can select amount as well First, this option should be enabled then click on save so this this waiter can able to give commission for some uh, in where it is applied <coughs> okay in now we, let's see uh, then uh, item category if there is any category in your items then you can create from here okay if, if you want to apply search chart then you can create search chart from here search charge okay percentage then so in your every address search search charge will be applied okay then is there is any non-rental activity cash counter swimming pool conference room etc etc so you can also create from here then uh, table operation and table layout so see we have created tables from here if you want to create any tables you can create from here First, if you want to create some table from here, click on new table one. 
So this day was under. And you can also be for if you want to apply minimum charge, this is all pass order, pass order information on an upper table that also you can enable. Okay, and click on save. So we have created table 100. This one, okay. Now we have to assign to like your first floor, second floor, means you have where, where you have placed your table that will be your room. Okay. So room operation I will show you that main dining hall where do you where do you would like to where would like to place your table in main dining hall pool side veranda that we have to select from table operation so click on table operation sorry table layout click on table layout we have to assign table 100 wherever you would like to right table 100 okay now this you uh, let's see you would like to see in main dining hall only okay and click on auto arrange and click on plus so table 100 will be applied in main dining hall okay and then click on auto arrange so you can see table 100 you can see here save it close it close now you have to restart this Let's check our table 100 has created successfully or not. So click on dine in. Okay, where is table 100? I think this. You can see table 100. This is how you can create tables. Now, last thing is how to add menu items in your system. Okay, so if you click on menu configuration, sorry, item configuration, there is an option available menu item. You just click on new, insert the details of test like uh, your item name is test unit, whatever uh, unit you are going to serve that you have to select from here, like one bottle, whatever rates, okay, and then save. Okay, now price and behavior and tax. If you would like to enter any tax detail, you can enter the tax here, any modifier graph. And I have already shown you this details that if you would like to edit the items from your course and you, you have to select such options right then this is a very important details like uh, from this item from which printer you would like to print okay then it's menu sub in which menu group it, it is showing deserts suppose okay any commission person and you want to give on this then you can select from here and click on save let's see our test item has been made or not test test C this is test under menu group subgroup okay now let's check on our main table main screen main screen is our easy barb Okay, so simple. Continue. Okay, login. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go for dining or takeaway. Okay, let's go for our test. See, is there test? Uh, okay, so. Uh, here's last thing is to view reports there are some reports also available in back office right the cashier report is there then daily sales uh, there is very my favorite report is sales register if you see uh, this one sales register so 
uh, in sales head, there are some drop down list available sales register sales register item wise sales register item wise in summary detail and summary then sell, uh, subgroup sales register item wise detail and summary let's see item wise detail okay you can select particular date as well uh, if you are more than one outlet then you can uh, generate report with combined both outlets or you can single outlet also if you want to select all then you will select select all of if there is an one okay by receipt number you want to show then you may enter receipt number order type if there is any particular order type you want to generate report you can click order type as well uh, if there is any particular item name then you can select item name and then you can generate that how many times that item has been sale has been sold okay then select print preview you can uh, print also okay so this is the report you can see right this is the date from 10 june to 10 june outlet this and order by items so we have just created some items and we have sold in our system so you can see that uh, grand total will be shown discount if we have not given a discount then total amount then whatever total tax and net amount everything will be show you in detail right with the receipt wise receipt number right the receipt number that receipt date uh, whatever rate quantity in unit amount discount amount total amount total tax and net amount everything this uh, details will be shown in the report there are lots of reports are that as per your convenience you can check by yourself and if you are having any issue you just ask us right so this is it from myself if you have any questions regarding burp or easy back office you can ask me hello hello are you there <clears throat> if you have any question you can ask me Okay, that is great, Kavanjit. So, uh, you have asked me yesterday that uh, you want to create happy hours. Do you remember? So, uh, yes, we have that option that you can create happy hours. Uh, I let me share a link with you. Uh, just a moment. There is one link. So this is our FAQ link. You can see uh, we have created for our customers. So who is not able to call us or not able to understand on chat? So they we provide them. This FAQ list okay as per the FAQ list let me show you how it works you just want to create session first so I have already created session for you okay let me show you where it is you can see this session okay so I have created happy hours for you you can edit it okay happy hours and which outlet you would like to uh, give happy hours right i have created for you then what you need to do you have to assign this happy hours uh, happy hours session to each and every items yes this is some less something lengthy process just go for menu item just edit it okay go for price and bom right and then click and new okay 
and new. Zero zero. You have to apply. It. Then click on new. Okay. And now create session. Select your session is happy hours. And then select your day. Which day you would like to see this? Okay, Thursday. Whatever your day is, and click on save. Save again. Unit, 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 unit. Save. Okay. And save. So, uh, whenever you give happy hours, you will go for happy hours. You have to select this session from here. See this. This option change session happy hours. Okay. Okay. And when you are uh, giving order any items, it will come to in that price that you have given in happy hours. But uh, this option, this uh, operation should be uh, performing each and every items. Every items you have to perform. You can view the. You can view this uh, FAQ that I have already shared with you. Okay. I hope I have given answers of all your questions. Is there anything else you can ask me? Sorry, what you said? Yes, exactly that I have repeat again that you have to select session in all the items. There is no shortcut. No, there is uh, there is no option Komaji. You have to perform this task in each and every item. But uh, you know it is very uh, difficult task. You know to create uh, issue this session, right? So it is uh, okay. Rate one, rate two, rate three. Like um, suppose in happy hours, right? Rate one is will be your default rate. Uh, suppose it is some festival, or you want to increase or decrease your rate. So what will you do is you just go for menu configuration. I'm sorry menu item rate operation okay say this is rate 1 rate 2 rate 3 rate 4 rate 5 suppose you do not want to give this particular item on rate 1 to the, you can check mark it and check check mark this uncheck this and check mark this your rate 2 option if you click on save and or restart your buff so this particular item will be you uh, will be showing the rate number 2 automatically okay so you can use it in by your uh, in festival time or you know it's uh, christmas time where it is your peak hour so you can decrease or increase your item price so that's why we have given this option <laughs> yeah you can man, yes you can um, upload it uh, let me show you how see uh, this is your menu item list right you can just go for okay great you know that okay yeah yeah tell me So you don't have to select uh, for happy hours, right?
it is not possible for particular date you have to change this uh, like you know you will have to change uh, this like uh, today your rate is this and next day you want to apply this then you if you open your account you just you have to select all these items right like this like this you have to select manually okay and uh, once you select this then restart the verb so it will uh, your verb will be open in rate 2 yeah of course we have already given the suggestion but you know if uh, uh, it is not possible to apply one session to each and every items because client requirements are they will sometime uh, give happy hour session for two hours right so that is the reason uh, we you have to follow this process for uh, apply session for each and every item otherwise you know it's, it's lots of process are misbehaving in software that is why uh, there is one option that you we have to create session for each and every item i know this is lengthy process but uh, once you configure it it will be one time process only you do not have to modify next day okay any any other questions okay thank you Kavajar. it is a very nice session with you if you still having any questions or uh, any doubts you can contact us on live chat or on email okay so i think tomorrow another tomorrow is also your uh, training right for inventory yes yes okay anyways okay we will contact you tomorrow bye bye have a nice day